Hey guys, it's Steve. Welcome back to another Barbecue Bros video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make candied bacon homemade ice cream. So uh, I'm going to be showing you the recipe that I grew up on. Uh, it's my mom's recipe for homemade vanilla ice cream. The only thing I'm going to be adding is the candied bacon. So put a little twist on it. I'm going to be smoking the bacon on my little mini Weber Smoky Mountain that I've got preheating right now. So let's go ahead and get started on getting the bacon prepped. Okay, so we've got our bacon here, some maple syrup, and some brown sugar, and I got the thick cut bacon. You can use whatever you want, really. And there's also uh, several different ways you can prepare the bacon. You can bake it, you could throw it in a skillet. I want to smoke it because it's going to have more flavor, and I just make a little tin foil boat. And we're just going to lay all the bacon out. Okay, now we're just going to take some of the maple syrup and pour a little bit on here. And I'm just going to use up the rest of this bottle. And then just smooth it all over the bacon. Alright, let me go ahead and take these gloves off. And lastly, we're just going to take our brown sugar here and just sprinkle this all on top of the bacon. Alright, so we've got the brown sugar spread on, uh, sprinkled on top now. So this is what it looks like uh, once you're done prepping it. That took maybe about a minute and a half to get the bacon prepped. So we've got it in the foil boat and uh, we'll pick back up outside uh, when we toss it on the smoker. All right, as I said, I'm going to be smoking this bacon on my little mini, my little uh, Florida Gator mini here. And I've got this thing up to 250 degrees. And all I'm going to do, uh, oh, and I've also got a piece of uh, oak wood in here for some smoke flavor. I'm just going to set this down in here, just like that, and put that lid back on. I'm going to be checking this every... Uh, I'll probably check in about an hour, but I expect this to go about an hour and a half to two hours. We'll pick back up in just a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the ice cream ready. I'm just going to walk you through the ingredients here as I put them in this large mixing bowl. We have three cups of sugar. We have four well beaten eggs. What I like to do is take like a little strainer after I've beaten the eggs and pour it through because you don't want any chunks of egg to come through when you're eating the ice cream. This is one tablespoon and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We have three 12 ounce cans of evaporated milk. And then what you do is you do three equal uh, 12 ounce cans of whole milk. Now I normally just uh, buy the whole milk in a quart like this, so that isn't quite 36 ounces, but it's close enough. So I just fill up one can, dump it, two cans, dump it, and then I almost get, I mean, you almost get a full three cans out of it, so it's close enough. Put all that in there. And then the original recipe calls for a dash of salt. I have no idea what it does, but I just go by the recipe that my mom gave me. And then we're just going to go ahead and whisk this up until everything is mixed together. And we're going to let it sit in the fridge for a while while we're waiting on our bacon to get done. All right, it's been about an hour, so we're going to go ahead and get this bacon flipped. As you can see here, it's already got a real nice color to it. And uh, just going to go ahead and flip all these right here and put the lid back on and let it go for about another hour. All right, it's been right at two hours, and this bacon is done. You can see here it's got a just great looking color on it. You can smell that maple and brown sugar coming off of it. I'm going to go ahead and pull all these and then we're going to take them back in the kitchen and get these chopped up. Okay, so I've let the bacon come down to about uh, room temperature. I took the 
uh, the ice cream mixture over here out of the fridge. What we want to do now is just chop this bacon up. All right, so that's good right there. And we're going to take this out of the way and bring our ice cream mixture back in and just dump all the bacon into the ice cream mixture. And what we're going to do is just take a spoon here and stir the bacon into the mixture. And we're going to go sit this back in the fridge for about an hour. Do it for at least an hour if you have more time. You can uh, let it sit in there longer. And then we'll strain the bacon back out when I go to churn the ice cream. So we'll pick back up in about an hour. All right, so the bacon has been sitting in the ice cream mixture in the uh, fridge for a couple hours now. And what we're going to do is I've got another bowl here with a strainer on top. And we're just going to pour this in here. Just like this. And go ahead and lift that out and you're left with all this amazing bacon that we will add to the ice cream once the ice cream is about done. So let's go ahead and start getting this ice cream churning. Okay, we use a two quart Cuisinart uh, ice cream maker. You can use one of the traditional rock salt and ice makers that you kind of run outside, but uh, you can get these at Amazon or Bed Bath & Beyond. You just pour, there's a frozen bowl in here that stays in your freezer. Then you just drop the bowl in, pour your mixture in, just turn this thing to on. And it runs for about 25 minutes. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the mixture here. All right, and I made enough to where this is going to actually be two batches. And so I'm just going to turn this to on and it's going to go for about 25 minutes. Guys, I'm turning this off just for a second so you can hear me. Um, basically, uh, this is just about thickened up. It's been about 25 minutes and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the candied bacon bits back in here now that it's thickened up and let it go for another five minutes. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Alright guys, this ice cream is done, and obviously the very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and try this. Look at that texture, I can smell the bacon, maple syrup coming off of this. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure that just fell down out of Heaven's Kitchen. That is the most amazing homemade ice cream I've ever had in my life, hands down. I'm not just saying that because I just made it. It really is. I don't know what else to say. I, I'm at a loss for words how good this was. What I'm going to do now is, uh, generally speaking, with this uh, ice cream maker we've got here, you can see that the texture, it's fairly solid, but really before serving it to your guests, you wanna go ahead and transfer it to a container and get it in the freezer you know, overnight or at least for half a day or so, so, so it's nice and thick. You could go ahead and serve it now, but it's gonna melt pretty quick. So that's what we're gonna do, but uh, you know, this takes a while to make this, you know, prepping the bacon, smoking and all that, but uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's just so good. So. Definitely try this out. Let me know what you think. If you tweak it out, uh, if, you have, if you have any um, ideas for making this better, please let me know. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you again soon.